The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. The mighty Sojin has been serviced and it is home back in the garage. But the boys really, really enjoyed our land-based fishing trip last time round and we're gonna do it all again. You ready? Heidi stoked. I think so. Heidi stoked. But this time we are charging east. Going about as far east as you could possibly go. We've got a pretty um a pretty serious swell at the moment, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to find a spot to tuck out of that but if we can find somewhere out of the swell then we're going to do a little mission today and see if we can catch a snapper for dinner right now we are hunkered up in the car because it is raining outside and pretty soon when the rain stops i'd imagine milan is going to pop the door open and we're going fishing we've picked the spot out just down the hill here there's the swells coming in and smashing on the rocks either side of it but there's one point where the swell in front of that point, the swell isn't doing anywhere near as much, um, what do you call it, white water carnage over the rocks as it is either side. So that's our spot. We're going to fish there, try and get a snapper for dinner. And then we have rented a house for the next couple of nights. And we've got two more days land-based fishing after today. And tomorrow and the day following tomorrow, it is a big kingy hunt. And to say I'm excited, I know the boys are excited. Milan's got the stupid look on his face as he always does. Milan's going to catch a big one. I am expecting big things from this one. We are in big fish country. And the boys will be doing their best to stick a hook in. Tell me how you're fishing, Milan. Wrapped up warm to get out of the rain. Freestyling a pulley out the front, that means just floating it around and I want it right on the ledge because if Burley's is pumping along this big weed ledge, that's where I want my pulley. Got some fresh bait, Nato? Yeah, <laughs> fresh bait. <laughs> Good on you, mate. <laughs> Well, cutting a long story short, the boys didn't catch much more than that kahawai and a little snapper for three hours on the rocks fishing in the rain. But that's all good. Some days you catch them, some days you don't, right? So yeah, packed up, left there, jumped in the truck, headed to our house that we had rented for the night. And on the way in there, Nato's little eyes just about popped out of his head when he seen a big fellow buck. So I had to jump out of the car and get a couple of shots of him, or them, there were multiple big fellow bucks there. Not only were there big fellow bucks, but I also seen a um, big black cow with some funky horns that looks more like some sort of Australian buffalo than anything else, which was super cool. But yeah, got to the house. We met there with a guy, Hamish. Now Hamish makes NACL lures. Now NACL is some sort of technical term for salt which hey it's a pretty good name for lures right so caught up with him had dinner stayed the night got up early got organized and we had private well we have private access to an insane ledge this morning but the truck isn't as good yep. as we would like it to be so the boys are on their feet Hamish was taking us to a secret spot that we could drive all the way to it, but we've now got to walk an hour and a half, but that's okay. It is a secret spot. We've got to walk an hour and a half. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Shit! <laughs> I didn't realize that. Andre has 20 kilos with a burley on his back. Milan's got all the fishing gear. Hamish just brung a stick bait rod and a bag full of his lures. And this ledge, I am told, is big kingfish country. I am real jacked up for this one. I really want to see the boys getting stretched on some big kingies. Milan forgot his hat. And when Milan forgot his hat, I realized I'd forgotten my hat. Thank you, Milan. You don't want to forget your hat. It's not a good day when you forget your hat. Well, that had to have been one of the most beautiful scenic enjoyable 
walk into any land based spot that I've ever walked into. It was just stunning. A little bit treacherous at times, but absolutely stunning. I wanted to stop for half a dozen times along that walk and do time lapses because again the scenery is just so beautiful. There were some epic time lapses up for grabs on the way in and if I have any amount of time on the way back then time lapses will be going down. On the walk in I even seen a few um, fellow deer marks on the track which had me a little bit excited and wanting a bow in my hand rather than a camera and a drone but it's all good. Today's about fishing not hunting NATO so just get that through your head and do what's got to be done. The boys are right now on a mission to get rigged up, pretty excited. No one's allowed to cast until NATO puts the drone in the air because the first cast is always the best cast and I would love to film some kingy action from the air. So yeah, once the boys are rigged up I get the thumbs up, the drone will be put up and I'll see what I can get. The spot looks insanely cool. Hamish reckons swell is a good thing and we've got a fair bit of that. Me and Milan are always trying to dodge the swell so <laughs> it's good to hear that it's worth being here on a big swelly day like this. Gonna be a little bit hard to land fish but you do your best with what you got right. So yeah, boys are gonna get set up. Gears rigged, ready, NATO's going airborne. Hey Milan, have you seen this sticker? What does it say? Live bait with a cross through it. Yeah, strange man. Strange, he reckons. <laughs> now you brung the big gear, eh Milan? And some little gear. No, no, you brung the big gear, eh Milan? Yeah, for some of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big car, why? So it'll be a big kingy. Got to the ledge, pumping a big burly trail. Andre's running a live bait. Hamish and I are casting stick bait. Running from the waves when we've got the opportunity to fish. Heaps of mau mau in the burly trail now in Kawai, and I reckon the kings are going to turn up. We're not snapper fishing yet. We're going to wait to snapper fish for like an hour. Really pump that burly and get that burly soaked into our ledge. The kingy fishing's a little bit quiet, so while it's quiet I'm going to catch some dinner and catch some bait for the boys. Because you never know when a big kingy's going to come up and having a live bait in a live bait tank is really good and having snapper for dinner is even better. Put myself blue cod. And that's what you call dinner for the boys. It's got such a big fat belly, sits in the palm of my hand. And that's the rewards of pumping a burly trail, because you never know what's going to turn up in it. And hopefully there's going to be a 20 pounder of one of those. Or a massive, massive kingfish. What's that one, Marlon? 
Is that a snapper? snapper. Is it? Yep. Snapper's pulling line off the sole tiger. Yeehaw, go Milan. <laughs> oh, my belly already feels full. Hey, Nathan wants to get a photo of you. And that's what Burley does. Produces these. Hopefully there's a lot of them down there. And he's gonna be yummy for dinner. Again, super fat winter snapper cruising along the ledges. Burley just brings them in. Unweighted baits. That's a shark. That was a kingfish. Was it? A kingy king just ate it then. It yeah, a shark had bitten the bait in half, and then a king. I'm sure a kingy ate it. It is, it oh, is a kingfish. <laughs> That's a hard case. Did you get it that time? Oh, you did. Oh, that was nuts. A shark ate the kawai in half, yeah. and then a kingfish ate the half kawai. That one, thanks. Me. Nice fish. That looks a lot bigger than I thought. I can't believe that I ate half a car while I was pumping blood and everything. Must have been a bronzy because he looked all brown. That ate, ate the car wine. Yeah, I don't reckon a tote could cut a car wine half like that, could it? It's got a tag in it, bro. Oh, it has too. Just hold still, man. Meter seven to the V, so we got the information. The walk was worthwhile. Ate a half a kawai. I've never had a kingfish eat half a kawai before. <laughs> it was Only nuts, ever okay. full kawai. We got him, Andre. Well that is that, we are about to call it a day and what a day it was! <laughs> big kingfish and a big snapper off the rocks is always going to be awesome in my mind. The boys are on the mission to pack up right now and we will make the walk out. It took like an hour to get here this morning although I was mucking around filming things but it's probably going to take an hour to get back. Get back to the house, we have snapper! for dinner tonight, courtesy of Milan and his fishing rod, which is awesome. Lax out for the evening, have an early night, and then we will be back right here tomorrow morning, early as. Milan reckons he has a date with a big kingfish, so we'll see you tomorrow. No way Hamish is carrying it with a hat like that, eh? <laughs> That's Milan's favourite hat. The boys got out of bed just that little bit earlier this morning. Excitement levels today are definitely higher than yesterday after catching 
big snapper and big kingfish and seeing a kingfish that was far bigger than the one that Milan caught. We were walking in in the dark this morning. Well, it was just getting daylight. The walk was actually pretty good. It was a little bit cooler today. The swell is down. The sun is coming up. Milan is super jacked and rigging his gear. I reckon today there is a real good chance of something big. A day is a lifetime in fishing. We're back on the same ledge and we're going to give it a different... A day is... <laughs> good morning, Marlon. Good morning. Why can't you talk, man? I can talk now. Two seconds ago he was like, Oh, I'm going to catch a big fish. I hope your foreman's on point today, Nato, because you got no idea what about the kingfish is about to happen, man. Now you can't yeah. even talk, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Tell me something awesome. A day is a lifetime of fishing. We were here yesterday and the swell was up and the water was dirty. But today, the swell was down and the water is cleaner and we know the kingies were here. Big live baits, even though Hamish doesn't like that, because he's got a hat that says all about it. But a good burly trail, get heaps of kawai, put them in the ponds, and at low tide when all those kingies turn up, we're going to catch a lot of real big ones. With the swell up and lots of big kawai around, I'm going to use a double float rig. We're just going to set two livey rods up, one casting for stick baits and a kawai rod. And I'm pretty sure that's going to do us very well for the day. Hold. Hold. Okay, I'm ready. First cast. Loose. Whoa. First cast for the day. You know what the first cast is. It's always the best cast. Come on, big kingies. Just be sitting out there, ready. There he is, he's on it. Oh, eat it, fish. Oh, <laughs> oh he's going to eat it there. Oh, you guys are tangled up. <laughs> oh, here comes Milan with a whole pilly. This could be good. He'll eat the pilly, Milan. If he comes up to it, he'll eat it, I reckon. Coming up on the lower. Oh, he's right on it. He'll eat that pilly, man, I'm sure of it. You gonna eat it, Ming Lane? Oh, he's right on it! Ah! Oh! <laughs> he's right under it! Come on, someone put a hook in there, fish! <laughs> Come on, fish! Let him eat it! He ate it! <laughs> you got him, Marlin! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> That was about the best hookup I reckon I've ever filmed. <laughs> nice work, Milan. Yeehaw. You got your gloves on today? <laughs> nice work. <laughs> what, what's Andre hooked? Andre that's no kawai, man. <laughs> that isn't a kawai. <laughs> I don't think you got a kawai. Oh, Milan's getting his ass canned at time. <laughs> Need to get round and change angles so I can get both anglers in one shot. Ew. The boys have got a double. <laughs> Which line, Andre? <laughs> Go, Andre. What do you reckon you got, big snapper or kingy? Oh, you got a little kingy. Hoi, hoi. Can you just keep an eye out for waves, please, yeah. Hamish? How you doing, Marlon? Kingy coming up. 
Look at the big kingy underneath them! Oh. Get your lure, Hamish! <laughs> it's carnage, these kingies everywhere this morning. Oh, the boys! Come on, the boys! How big's your fish, Andre? <laughs> Is there a bigger one under your one? Like oh, hey, 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 gone. Touch the rock. Oh, he bust you off. Yeah, he just touched the rock, mate. Ah. Got it. Holy shamoli, that was a big one. Oh, man. You see the size of that thing? <laughs> Pretty much landed on. Hey, which was going ground, I said, just let it kick out. And maybe we shouldn't have. Uh, wow! Wow, wow, wow. As I was saying, a, life, a day in the life of fishing. You can come one day and catch nothing, come the next day, and there's kingies all over the ledge, and that's what's happened this morning. There are kingies just everywhere. Oh. Get him, Hamish. Nice little morning kingy. <laughs> with, the, with the bait rod. <laughs> On the bait rod, On even. On the bait rod. <laughs> the kingies are here, Hamish. <laughs> <laughs> that was epicness. <laughs> Wait till you see it eat your bait on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Every good fishing show needs a good dusting, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll get another one, I'm sure. Ooh, live bait. Andre's hooked the mighty kawaii. It's crazy how valuable these things get at times. <laughs> Nice. That would have been the slack water high tide bite. Got my feeling nice and dry. <laughs> What do you got now? Go on. Go Andre. <laughs> oh, nice work, man. <laughs> wow, that's what dinner looks like tonight. <laughs> That's good gear, man. <laughs> That's a good knot last night. You tied some good rigs last night, boy. Oi, whoa, whoa. I know my hooks. I know my FG's good. <laughs> Just snapped my hook, try to get it off. Snapped it and started to straighten it. Yeah. You ain't gonna get busted off on a fish, eh? No. Well, unless he reefs you. All right, two live baits in the water. Now we just gotta sit back and wait for the carnage. Look at that snapper! Oh, oh, oh. Big snapper! Hamus just cast his lure off and he reckons he's gonna swim and get it. <laughs> Aren't you a lure maker? Don't you have like piles of them? God, it's good having a uh, surf lifesaver along. Just for the record, you wouldn't catch NATO swimming out to save a lure, but Hamish is a surf lifesaver, so it's a walk in the park for him. Hamish is back, re-rigged, and better than ever. 
It's been a pretty quiet day on the fishing front since Milan got busted off and Andre caught some snappers. But it's been a pretty cool day as well, just chilling out. I've been filming time lapses and mucking around. Today's plan was to get here early, put live baits in the rock pool ready for low tide and then stay here until low tide and then be swimming live baits at low tide and low tide is very nearly here. So things could get pretty full on pretty quick. Milan's just cracked open the last burley for the day. We will deploy that and then after that is done and dusted, if no kingfish have arrived, it will be home time. And another awesome fishing trip on the rocks will have been had, but my fingers are crossed that a big kingy is pretty soon to make an appearance. Yeah, I flew at it. He flew at it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hamish hooked one. Come running over here to help him, and he pulled the hook just as I got here. Got it. We are now on the wrong side of low tide, so the boys are right now in pack up mode. We have an hour and a bit to get back to the truck, get back to the house, pack up, head home, and then sit down and plan the next adventure. I'd imagine we'll be out in the boat next time round, so thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have fun. Be cool. See you later. Got him, lost him, got him again. <laughs> That's it. That's it. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.